Hey guys, welcome to another Mountain Blade Warband tutorial, and today I'll be teaching you how to get vassals for your villages, cities, and towns. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to a uh, go to like a city, and then enter the tavern or visit the tavern, and you'll probably see a bunch of these guys around. You know, these guys aren't what you're looking for. Like. Don't get them mixed up with these guys, because if you buy these guys, they only go into your party as like, a, like, um, like an army, like troops. You don't want troops. You want like someone that's a troop, but is a bit more like you can customize their gear and stuff. So they're they're quite good to have in your guild anyway, even if you don't want them as a um, as a like. Like, you know, just like a troop, so... If you just, like, talk to one of these guys, like, she is a vassal. See, I just bought her. She's now in my party. And I could talk to her and equip gear with, for, for her. So, right now, she's got pretty lame stuff. She's got a fountain, nothing too good. You can also look at their skills. Like, she's not bad. I've had, I've had better, but I've also had worse. Like, she's okay. Um, so yeah, you, sh you need to get one of them first before you do anything else. So, you've got your character, just like mine. You don't, it doesn't have to be mine, it can be anyone that you can see their equipment and see their skills. So you got to make sure you can see their skills and stuff. That's when you know it's not just like a normal troop. See? Um... So now you need a castle. At this point, well, when you need vassals, you probably have a castle. But if you don't, you need to go and get one. So the way you do that is you got to make sure. So say you, just, you know, like you know, you're new and you're just riding around, you want a castle. And most likely, all of the cities will not have any problem with you yet. Or you know, yeah. See, like. I'm at war with the Kingdom of Swadia, so... Yeah, so you're gonna make sure you're at war with them. And the way you can do that is either just... If you're good enough, you can go up to one of their own vassals. But I need to find one. Or like any faction, to be honest. So whatever faction you're mad at, or that you want to take one of the castles from. So... There should be one around here, so... Here we go. Nope, that's just a deserter. No, yeah, they're not. You know, it, it's the color. The color would be the same color as their faction. Here's one. Well, here's a few actually. Looks like they're going to be sieging something. Um, so you'll see these guys. So their parties. They're just. They're exactly like you, actually. But you know, from other kingdoms. So once you do that, you're going to go like up to one. And you're gonna be like, you're now Balls the Great, or whatever, or whatever your name is. And then you gotta go, I mean, I wanna deliver my demands and stuff. And you'd be like, surrender and die, or die. So, I don't wanna do that with them, because, you know, I don't wanna mess with them yet. So, once you win the battle, most likely they would be angry at you. And then, whenever you go up to one next, their name would be Red. Um, and also, all the villages they would own would be red too. And that's when you know you'll be able to take them over. So say you want to take one of these castles over. You can, because it's red. Once you go in, you, you say oh, you want a siege. And you, it's either going to be, you prepare the ladders, or you, or, you, or you build a siege tower. Now, when you build a siege tower, it's going to take a while so, it's, yeah, you got to make sure you're not near any enemies, otherwise they could attack you. So, once you do that, you just got to prepare the walls. I'm going to do it, take four hours, not long. Once you do that, um, then you're good. Then you'll be able to start the siege. Okay, so you found a castle you want to siege. You gotta go up to it. And I begin siege. And you want, once you start the siege, 
it'll you know like speed up time. It it would be longer than like than that if you were meant to build a siege tower. But right now, you just um you just build you're just putting ladders on walls pretty much. So then you you know you can either um stay back and let your soldiers fight, which I would not recommend because it's not good. Um, it actually makes the game makes it so you're when you're not there. There's a you know it, there's a lesser chance of your men surviving if you were there. So lead your soldiers. Okay, you're in. I just got a bunch of crossbowmen and a few um, paladins. I am using a mod. In the normal game, you would be able to get these men. You would be able to get Swadian skirmishers, I think. So you are destroying. You're destroying them. Well, I'm destroying them by arrows. I'm help fire. Okay. So these guys are going up. I'm just going to, because I'm just going to do this quick, I'm just going to cheat by killing every every like, every enemy, which is control out f4, which does uh, which does kill every enemy, or knock them out so you can take them as prisoner and sell them. That also works with the leader of the party. See, when I was killing Kingdom of Swadia, I, the first enemy of them, of their faction I fought, was their king, so I just killed it. Or knocked out every single person from their, from their like from their army, and including the king. So I now have the king prisoner. So that so that's always it's a good cheat if you think if you want to cheat pretty much. So my man. So these are this is the ladder. If it, if so if you're sieging like a different castle, you would have a big tower that comes up and yeah you know, it takes a while for it to get to the walls. This is just quick and easy. So you got all these guys, you know they're coming, I'm just gonna insta kill them. See? Look how they're all dead now. So once your men are like yelling while you're like oh yeah one, then you know you click tab, tells you how many men you killed. See I not so wounded means you pretty much like knocked them out. I killed forty two. Well my men did. And then, you know, you get this you can usually there'd be more. Like I've actually you know, one's not many. Uh, these are all the people that you can take as prisoner and sell. These are all my prisoners, like... Um, this is the king of Swadia. <laughs> so, you know, you can get their loot. And once you do that, you should be talking to. You click the first one. You know, you gotta, you got to consult with all your um, vassals. Now, these are all my vassals. You wouldn't have these if you, if you don't have any vassals yet. Like, these are my ones. So you would usually just have this, or I'd take the castle myself. So you click that. You know you're back. You're back in the um. You're back in the. So you you have your castle now. So you're back in the you know normal map. You can go into it. You can stay there, or you could like manage the garrison. So you can put like men in. I'd recommend doing this before you give it to someone because then you can put your um, men in there, which will help the castle from thing. Or you could take men. You could take them out, and I'm so. Control X is quick upgrade, so you can just upgrade all your men, and then put them back in, which means they'd be stronger. Because usually there's just a bunch of looters, you know, really low level people. So once you've done that, go into the character, go to talk. I'd like to ask you something, and then the bottom one. And then find the place that you want to give them. We just raided this castle, so you click it. And then these are all my relationships going down and up. And usually they're going. All the other vassals don't like it if you give it to people. So the person you're giving it, they're giving the castle to, their relationship with you would go up. And you always want them to be not in the negatives, because in the negatives they could they could like um like get away from you. And they would also take the castle they have with them. See, I took someone from Kingdom Swadia, and they gave me their castle. And he's actually in his castle now, which is good. So once you've done that, you got your castle, you got everything. Now she is, she is part. She owns that castle now. So now you can't, you can't manage the garrisons anymore. You can like stay there. You can go onto the Lord Hall still and everything. You know, it's normal except. 
you can't build anything in the castle, like a prison tower or a messenger post, and you can't manage the garrisons. So, the reason for that is because your, your like, vassals do it. See, this is one of my vassals now. She is, yeah, she's going to, she's going somewhere. So that's one of your vassals. They will, it's literally another version of you, but she gets her own troops, or he gets her own troops. They do their own thing, they have their own castles, because there's no way you can manage this many castles on your own, or villages, or cities, so. So, thank you guys for watching my video. Please comment, you know, like, subscribe. And please, yeah, please comment how I have done, because I've never really, I've never made a video on YouTube before, it's my first video. Please comment down below. See you guys in the next video. Peace.